Hi everyone, this is Sue's Journal Adventures and tonight I thought we'd play with some playing cards. No, we're not playing cards, but we are playing with cards. So I'm just going to, I really like that, but I don't like the writing on it. It's going to be semi-covered anyway. Should I leave that in the background? Hmm. Anyway, I'm just going to pick two cards. Um, <clears throat> so I've got two cards. Oh, that looks quite old, that one. Oh, they're not from the same pack. I can't use that then. Um, I need one from the same pack. I'll use that because they're red and I don't want the brightness, even though I'm going to knock the brightness down. So what we're going to make is this. So this is what is known as an altered playing card. And there's a million and one different ways of doing altered playing cards. This I haven't decorated the back. If you were going to slot it in a pocket, then you would decorate the back. Or you could just put journal space on the back. I may stick it down so I'm not fussed about the back. And we've got a little door that opens and inside... We've got a lady. It's kind of, I don't know if you'd call it 2D. She's in the background and the flowers are in the foreground. I haven't decorated in there either, which I might do later on. So that was just me seeing how it went, really. So you need two cards. One is your front. These are best to use as the front because you've got the lines to cut for your door. So that's cool. So I'm going to get my stuff together and I'm going to start. Just move that and that and that and everything else in the world. And I'm just going to cut with my ruler on the black line. And I'm just going to cut to where it starts and stops, basically. You don't want to go beyond, whoopsie, first mistake of the day, great. Um, you don't want to go beyond the black. Has that cut through? Yes, it has. And then I'm going to come down the side. Typical, made that one fine. What is that? Where's that come from? Might have come out of that charms box. I was looking through my charms box for some... Um, I thought I had some of those little brads, whoopsie, that's like... Um, like a little point and you can swivel it round but no I didn't so I just had to make one out of a bit of card which is fine that's fine just make sure that's open and yes it is okay I've got a bit of a problem there but that doesn't phase me um okay and then I'm gonna cut this one Trust me to cut the card wrong. I tell you, it always happens on the demo. Always. And it doesn't matter how prepared you are. You can still make mistakes on the camera. I'll just glue that down or pull it off or whatever. Don't know. Don't care. Now, all I'm going to do <laughs> is at that line, at that black line. Actually, I might just score it slightly with any scoring kind of thing. Um... People do actually cut, I have seen people cut the whole thing out. Um, I saw one lady do it and she cut the whole thing out and attached like a tiny little bracket to it. I don't have the tiny little brackets and I don't particularly want the faffing, so I'm just going to bend it. Um, bend it, I can't find my bone folder, and I'm just going to crease it pretty well. Right, there's several stages to this, so... What I'm actually going to do now, because I did it later on the other one and it was a little bit annoying. I'm going to just, well, first of all, I'm going to cut a piece of this. Um, so I think I want it there. Pretty much to um, seriously, anyway. There, I can trim any excess off later. So we've got a bit of acetate that's going to go up behind there. So when you open it, there is acetate. Um, but first, 
I am going to get an emery board. It's a bit, could do with being a bit more scratchy. Um, but I'm going to scratch this surface with my emery board and just make it a bit rough and not glossy. In fact, I didn't do that on the background of the other, but I might just do that on here. Don't want to scratch the thing, the, the doodahs off, but I do want to dull it all down. So if you've got a sanding block, use a sanding block. If you haven't, like me, then just grab an emery board and it just takes all that glossiness down. Um, I'm going to do it there because I don't really want to see that. In fact, I might just get that off with the emery board. So there you go. You can remove things with your emery board as well. There we go. And if it looks, you know, a bit scruffy mess, it doesn't matter. It's vintage. It's going to look a scruffy mess anyway. Um, so that's my piece of card. So what I'm going to do now is go around that with the missing dauber and just go over because because you've done the rough edge it will hold the um ink a little bit more better better it'll hold it better so i'm just going to go around there around my window get a bit of glue on that it doesn't matter if i get it on the flap doesn't matter at all. In fact, why don't you put it down so it'll be a whole hell of a lot easier. And just maybe lightly go over that. I don't mind if we get like odd marks. It's vintage. It's meant to look old. So I'm just also going to just actually rub. Find a bit that's actually got some memory board on it. Rub and gloss that a little bit. Not much, because I'm putting something over the top, so it doesn't really matter. And the, that one's pretty much going to be covered anyway by that one. So all you're really going to see in there oops, is that. That's pretty cool, actually. I like that them words came off. <laughs> Little things. So next jobby, I think... Um, is to get some of this brown tissue. I love this stuff. Um, and I'm just going to tear the raggedy piece because it doesn't need to be perfect because I want it to look old and crinkly. That might not be big enough. Oh, it is. Um, and then I'm only going to glue my door. I might need to sort that out somehow with a bit of glue, maybe. Anyway, Oh, I don't want that glue. Um, I'm just going to do the door. So up to there. Get it right down, but not on the sides. So I'm just going to put it like that for a minute. So I can get all this bit really glued. I think that's pretty well glued. And then I'm going to come in with this. And I'm going to do the scrunchy, scrunchy, stick it down bit, scrunchy, scrunch it up, make crinkles, because that's what I like, crinkles. There we go. Get so, as many crinkles in it as you can. You don't have to use this brown tissue. You can use white tissue for this. Just the back off your napkins, um, you know, the, the other bits that you tear off. So I'm just going to stick that down like that and let that dry a minute whilst I look at this and make sure that this is the right size. Probably going to need a bit trimming off the edge. Yep, definitely. I'll trim it off. I'll trim it off when I've stuck it down. Right, so I'm going to open my door and I'm going to trim the edges of this off. Which isn't the easiest thing to do, but it's doable. I should probably be better with my little scissors. Instead of great big things, are way better with my little scissors. So I'm just going to trim all the edges off. Don't matter if there's some fluffy bits left, it's old, you know. It's a vintage card. Get that off. Fine. And then this bit is a little bit more 
tricky near your edge. So I'm going to fold the edge so I can actually see where my edge is. And I'm just going to trim along it. And like I say, I don't care if it's super neat or not, because I'm probably just going to come in with a little bit more glue down there and stick it down a bit better if I can get in there with my glue. Right, so there we go. Just stick that back down, squash it all down. And then I am going to just trim that little bit there. There we go. Right, that can go in the bin. So that's it. I'm a bit perturbed about that bit that I cut wonky, but whatever. Um, retract the blade. Oh, I can't retract the blade. Why won't it retract? My thing's up. Oh, just leave it. Um, right, so that's done. I've lost my acetate now. Where's it gone? <laughs> oh, it's there. It's there. <laughs> You can't see acetate, that's the problem. Right, so I'll leave that there. So my door is done. Okay. Um, now then, the next step is, is coming off a little bit, but you can just keep doing it and it will stay. Some of it will stay. Um, did I do the hole first? Yes, I did. I did the hole, but did I do the acetate? I did the acetate, right. So now I'm just gonna glue not with that, with this. I'm just going to glue my pin to my finger, apparently. Um, I'm going to glue the edge of this and stick my acetate down. That's the next step. I hope you can see okay. Um, get all that on. All over. Oops, there we go. Right, just stick that little bit there that's wanting to stick up. Um, <coughs> I'm really froggy again today. <coughs> right, I'm just going to stick that on the end there, like that. Nice little piece of acetate. glue bog on my finger and I'm just going to trim off the excess. I might just trim it at an angle if I can get the scissors in there to do it because that were going great guns then but then it decided not to. There we go. Right so get rid of that and that and that and that. <laughs> Little bits all over my desk. So now we've got a door that opens and a bit of acetate. A bit of acetate sticking out there. Okay, so you've got that at the moment. Next step <coughs> um, is put your pin in your glue. So that's always a good idea. Um, the next step is get something that you can punch a hole with. Okay. And I need just a little piece of card. Now, the last time I made this, I did it with this card that's just a little bit too thin. Have I got a thicker piece of card? Yes, I have. So if I just take a little bit of this and just cut a little, um, just like a little petal shape, it doesn't have to be massive but wide enough hopefully for a brad to go through yeah and i'm going to pop that there and then i'm going to take my pokey tool and i'm going to poke through both of them and i'm going to get a bread i think we'll have a gold brad this time because that silver one looked a bit odd on a vintage thing um, and I'm going to pop that through 
so as it holds my little leafy thing open the legs at the back and you don't need to worry too much i don't want it too tight because i want that to be able to move i should have inked that should have inked it okay we'll ink it then just so as you can see it a bit more there we go that now will hold that closed i don't want it closed at the moment because the next stage is this so I'm going to get some more of my wrinkly crinkly tissue and I'm going to stick some on here. I might move that out of the way. And I'm just going to glue all over. You'll still be able to see my pattern, but just not as much. Well, you won't be able to see it that much anyway, because I'm going to stick a person on it. But that gets some crinkles and creases in it, actually. Just take it off a minute, take it off a minute, get off my finger, get some creases in it before I put it down. That would be not a bad idea. Oops. And then just pop some on. It doesn't have to cover it all. Just get some creasy bits, funky crinkles, um, mainly in the middle because you're not really going to see the edge. So can you see me okay just gonna put some crinkles in there it doesn't have to go right to the edge it doesn't have to be neat it just has to stick so i'm gonna just trim off you can do this with a, a sanding block or an emery board actually and just take the tissue off the edge i'm just cutting it for speed i haven't got time to mess about on a on a video so just chop that off oops chop that off now i chopped a bit of card then and chop that off and that's nice and crinkly it doesn't matter about that bit there because it's going to be covered um <clears throat> so i'm now going to come in with my thing here and i'm going to see where I want this man first. Do I want him there? Yeah, I think I do. But first, it's still a bit tacky, is this? I obviously put, oh, because I pulled it off, didn't I? I've obviously stuck the glued side down. But anyway, not to worry. I'm going to do the same thing in here with the old in it. Oh, I haven't done it yet, have I? Making it look old and rubbing the um, ink over it just to highlight them creases a bit and there we go that's cool so do that <clears throat> and then i'm going to place my man do i want a bit of glitzy in here in the background i might do he might not like glitter don't care i do right i'm going to just try i don't know if i can do this because it's oh it's dry as a bone um no i won't use that because i have to go and mess about in the bathroom wetting it with soapy water um okay I won't use that i'll just use my paints i'll just use the gold and just like put some of it in there I don't like these ones that move about. Quite annoying. Um, some of them are stuck in and some of them aren't. I just get some bits here and there. I don't need, don't need loads of it. And I don't even know if you can actually see that picking up the gold. Yeah, you can a bit. Um, so then the next thing is I'm going to stick my man where I want him. Where do I want him? I think I might just want him up just slightly. Yeah, I think that is pretty cool. So he is going to get glued there. And I'm not going to move him because I'll probably put him in the wrong place if I move him. So I'm going to come along with the glue if it will come out. And do this end first. Hope you all can see all right what I'm doing. Glue that end down first. Oh, I should have inked him. 
it's a bit like the background in here, you don't really stand out. So just give me um, that and um, is that black? Yeah, because I, I haven't got my other dauber it's up there. Put a bit of dark around the edge. So it pops a bit more. I never thought actually the yeah, the sepia photo that should maybe have used black and white, but hey, it's all meant to look old and age, and that's grand. So I've got a bit of glue on him now and I've moved him. I said I won't gonna move him, but the best laid plans, you know, you can plan, you can prepare, but it doesn't always go right on camera. Because I did that other one perfectly fine. It's always the same. As soon as you get on camera, something goes wrong. And I can guarantee on camera, I make something and I give you a, a few ideas of how it can be. And as soon as I stop that camera rolling, oh man, I think of loads of other ideas I could give you. And I'm like, oh, you should have said that. You should have said that. You should have said that. Don't matter. I'm pretty sure you can work things out on your own as to how you can, uh, you know, use things so he's in the background right okay so now we're going to stick this down i will have to wait for my glue to come up again <laughs> i should leave where's my little pot so i can leave it upside down okie dokie so get some glue on here just around the edges turn it round and get that side and stick that on there directly on top of the other one whoops <laughs> directly on top she says can't even get it to line up there we go there we go and any funny little funky bit she just cut off bring you down a tad um <clears throat> Okay, okay, so any any funny little um, bits of the, what's it, tissue, just chop off that, get that straight, right there, okay, and that's it. Doesn't matter if it's a bit rough and ready because it's a vintage thing, isn't it? Meant to look old and scabby, well, not scabby, but... I'm going to get some gold again and just dot that over here as well because I love this stuff very much. Get some of it dotted about on these little peaks. I've got kind of an inkling to do something like this on the front of my journal with this brown tissue and the crinkles. I don't know, I'm not sure. I've got flowers in my head and my name and, and but then I'm liking this crinkling thing. I don't know. So that's that. Now then, on the inside, we've got our man. You can decorate this bit. I'm not gonna do it on camera because it's just time consuming cutting. Well, it's not that time consuming cutting a little piece of card. But this next bit is time consuming. So I just want to get some of these and just isolate a few flowers. Do you know, for ages, I've been crafting and making journals and sometimes I'm doing a page and I think, oh, do you know what? I just wish I had some brown flowers, but I'm like, you don't have brown flowers. If you've got brown flowers, then they're dead, lass. But it's like... You know, when you're doing a page that's creams and browns, you think, I just wish I had a brown flower. And there are no packets of brown flowers until I found these. These are not brown, they're white, but they've got brown centres and brown stalks. So I'm like, oh, wow, got to have them, got to have them. So I'm just going to put these on the outside of the acetate. Um, I think we'll have that one there. Pretty much the same ones as I used before on the lady. And just chop round all that myriad of plastic there. There we go. And stick this. I might stick this in a different like 
where to how I've stuck hers. So I don't really want them to be so samey. Um, I might stick that there. And then I might just stick um stick another one at the bottom. Maybe that one there. So even when you buy stickers, you can cut them out and isolate them and make them even smaller. Because sometimes I either want brown flowers or I just want really small flowers. And you don't always get really small flowers in your packets of stickers. They're all pretty much big. Well, not big, but medium-sized. Sometimes you want some that's smaller. So, yeah, cut them up. I'm just going to stick that one. Oops. Well, I'm sticking it there now because it's just decided to stick itself. And it's stuck itself right over my other one. Oh, you awkward thing. Can you come off a minute? Come on, you're only on acetate. Good, 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 good. Good flower. Well behaved flower. I'm going to move that one up. So I'm going to put the big one there. Up to that corner. And then I'm going to put that one like there. So it's got a few flowers around. It could go all the way around if you wanted, but I don't want to. So that's it, really. You don't have to decorate the front. But I just thought a flower on the front would look nice as well. And I did it in the brownie last time, which doesn't really show up an awful lot. So I might just pop one with a bit of colour on it, which might just be... Um, find a packet of stickers quick, Sue. Um, it might just be a pink rose because I can't find anything else. <laughs> I can't find anything else and I don't want to go on too long. Skimmy around it because I don't like all the plastic. You know that. I've kind of gone for neutral with these and the sepia photos and now I'm sticking a coloured rose on it. But it doesn't matter. It's whatever you want to do to it. And if you don't have any stickers, you can always cut a flower out of a book. If you don't have the little people um, in for the background, cut photos out of old magazines or books if you've got any vintage or old notebooks um notebooks newspapers anything you can get pictures from anywhere or just cut a person out of a magazine and degloss it like i did with the um edge of this so there you go that is it two little altered playing cards that are now um window booklets as well so you just move your little tab open it up and there is something cool inside so there you go i hope you enjoyed that thank you very very much for watching and i'll see you all soon bye